Hi folks, this is Dave Jones. I'm here on the set of Mysteries of the Superstition Mountains and I want to answer a question that keeps getting asked all the time. Is how in the heck did fishing with the good old boys ever get started? Well, it's an interesting story and I'm going to share it with you right now. I'm tired of putting it in writing, so let's do it this way. So back in the late 80s, I was fresh out of college and didn't know any better. And I had a client come to me, a crappie tournament called Crappie-thon. <laughs> And they had this big tournament at Roosevelt Lake and they wanted me to do a show and some commercials on it. So we went out there and I brought a friend of mine, John Shaw, who worked at the TV station with me. He worked at the agency, which was part of the TV station I worked for called Creative Advertising. And he went out there with me because we loved to fish and we went out there. And we did that promo and we had so much fun that was sitting there at, at, at lunch after we got done saying, we should do a TV series. And... Uh, <laughs> It's funny how things happen. So I went and talked to the uh, station manager and said, we have an idea, we'd like to do a TV series called uh, Fishing with the Good Old Boys. And we want to do it and make a block on Saturday morning so there's some fishing stuff. And I just happened to be a salesperson and you know I was always looking for, for niche marketing because the TV station I worked for at the time was called KUSK TV. They were Channel 7 in Prescott and Channel 27 in Phoenix, and we had no ratings. So if I didn't do niche marketing, advertising wasn't getting sold. So I went and presented the idea to the owner of the station, and he said, Well, Dave, it's a good idea. If you can sell 13 weeks of advertising, which is a basic TV series time, um, go ahead and do it. So 24 hours later, I came back to the, to the boss, and I go, Guess what? He goes, yeah, I know it's tough to sell advertising for that. I, you know, it was a good try. He goes to me and go, no, I didn't sell 13 weeks. Well, then you can't do it. And I said, I sold 26 weeks. <laughs> it was completely sold out. So here a dream came true. I was going to get to go play television and do the thing, one of the things I love to do the most, and that's fishing. And that's how the fishing with the good old boys got started. And because John went on that shoot with me, who was a fishing buddy of mine, we used to go bank fishing and every once in a while we'd go out in a boat, catch fishing. I asked him to be the host and he said enthusiastically yes. And he says, hey, guess what? I got a name and I got a song for it. And he goes, no, you don't. <laughs> and he did. And he, had, he sat there and tapped on the, the desk and, and sang the whole song, Fishing with the Good Old Boys and I'll play it here for you so you can hear it. And that's how that, that song came off the top of his head. Because he used to be a musician back in the days and that's what he, kind of what he did with the advertising agency is he produced uh, voiceovers and that guy could cut tape. It was a long time ago, he would cut tape so fast and edit commercials like you wouldn't believe. It's all digital now, but he was an artist. And he was a drummer and he was a lot of fun to do work with and you can see these shows right here on David Jones, that's Fishing with the Good Old Boys. Thanks for watching. Just drop a line and reel them in. It's good old boys, come fishing again. Just drop a line and reel them in. It's good old boys, come fishing again. Yeah, it's that time again to drop a line. So sit back and relax and let's go fishing again. Come along as we join John Shaw and today's special guest. Reel him in on Fishing with the Good Old Boys. Good fishing. Just drop a line and reel him in. It's good old boys. Come fishing again. Just drop a line and reel him in. It's good old boys.